Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Kirby Gatto. Welcome to today. It is a breezy day, December 4th. As you join in, be super hopeful and expectant. God is absolutely Ephesians 3.20. Amen. Oh my goodness, the power of the tongue. Oh, God has just blessed us with life, to speak life. John 10, 10 and life abundantly. I am beyond excited because God told me to get the personalized tag for the new car. John 1, 4, in him was life and that life is the light of men. And it's available, so I got it. I'm so super excited about that. And we're gonna look at the life of Jesus, amen. Good morning, Tracy and Stacy. God bless y'all, thank you for joining in. In him was life, John 1, 4, and that life is the light of men. And so the light pierces, verse 5, the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it, put it out or absorb it. And it's so funny because I see Kim Mitchell on here, and I was praying, God, please send me confirmation. I just want to hear you about the personalized tag for the new vehicle. And Kim sent me a thing the day before we went to the car tag place. And it was John 1 Ford. I'm like, Kim, you're not going to believe this. That's confirmation. Good morning, Kim Mitchell. I love you. And so I'm going to speak about the power of life and death is in the tongue. And oh my goodness, watching the Nativity story last night, I'm always reminded every time with John the Baptist's father, he's before the Lord in the temple, and God speaks to him about the forerunner. John, who will have the spirit of Elijah, the son of Zechariah, whom Elizabeth in her old age would be pregnant with. And isn't it amazing that God shut his mouth because of him not speaking against the promises of God, which are yes and amen. Now think about that. If God will shut a person's mouth to not speak against his promise, his prophecy, Think about the power that is in the mouth. Life and death are in the tongue, in the mouth. And in James 3, it says that we're not supposed to be speaking double speech, which means we speak life and then we speak against someone created in the image of God. And so this week is Hanukkah, the Feast of Dedication. This year, for whatever reason, it was only God I just didn't feel led to put up a Christmas tree. We have a tiny apartment and I'm just like, there's no room, <laughs> there's no room. And so I was ordering a butter dish that would take a whole block of butter and I found one that was 50% off. Y'all, you have no clue how expensive butter dishes are. They are crazy prices. <laughs> If you want to get into some money, make homemade butter dishes. Oh my goodness. It is so crazy. So at any rate, it was 50% off and they had free shipping if you met a certain price and I hate paying for shipping. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get something else that's on super sale so I don't have to pay the shipping costs and it's free shipping because it just makes more sense to me. And so, lo and behold, <laughs> they had a menorah that was on this amazing price. And I'm just thinking it's going to be a small menorah, okay? So, I ordered this menorah from Sur La Table. They're out of it, of course, because it sold out probably like that because it was such a ridiculous price. And so, I bought the menorah with the menorah candles, and it came in a couple of weeks ago. And I just laughed because this menorah is like massive. It, it takes up the whole table. And I feel like it's big enough to be in the temple of the Lord. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. And so I just felt like the Lord was wanting me to really teach on Hanukkah, the Feast of Dedication. That's what Hanukkah means the Feast of Dedication, and so it's the Festival of Lights, and so it begins December the 7th this week, and I'm going to be teaching on that, and so leading up to that, we're to cleanse our house of impurities of what we speak, 
It's not what goes into the mouth that defiles a man's body. It's what comes out of his mouth that by the mouth, the whole body is contaminated. Saints, we don't want that. And so as we get ready to lead up to the Feast of Dedication, Hanukkah, beginning December the 7th, let's examine our hearts and think about the potency of what we speak. And so I want to just show you how God's favor is. It is just beyond crazy. The crazy favor that I've been seeing is just just beyond crazy, okay? And so some of y'all are looking for finances, for provision to solve your problems. Oh, let me tell you what, and I've taught my sons this for many, many years. God's favor will do for you what finances cannot. And God really wants you to get your eyes off the things of this world, off of mammon. And he wants you to put them on him because that is one of the issues in relation, whether you realize it or not, to you speaking against each other, others, is that you have a poverty mentality because of a low self-esteem. And so that low self-esteem, it's going to end up bringing the curses on you. And if you're speaking like God had me post today, if you're speaking against other people, just talking about their bad behavior, just talking about them in period, and I don't mean in getting counsel, okay? Seeking wise counsel is a whole different thing. I'm just talking about in general. Check your tongue, okay? What are you speaking most of the time? Are you speaking life? Are you speaking negatively? Are you speaking positively most of the time? And so if you're speaking against others, guess what, saints of God? Scripture says in Matthew 7, verse 2, Jesus Christ himself says, you're going you're gonna to fall under condemnation. You're going to fall under judgment. And again, in my very first book, Glory to Glory Sisterhood, book one, God had me do a whole chapter on judging others. And in early 2000, God showed me that so many trials and tribulations we're in, we don't realize, can end up being the result of our judgments against other people. And so you're in the judgment, condemnation of the trial in which you're projecting onto others because it's in your own soul. And so God just showed me, look, if you're in a trial, you know, first look at, have I judged someone? If you've judged someone, then just say, Father God, I repent. It doesn't matter how messed up what they've done to you. That's why Jesus says in John 6, 35, to bless your enemies, not expecting any benefit any, and do something for them to give them a benefit, not expecting anything in return. And then you prove yourselves to be sons of God. Oh my goodness, saints of God. How many of you are willing to keep the mouth closed and to only speak life and life abundantly? And so, as we get ready for Hanukkah, the Feast of Dedication coming up, let's get ready to dedicate this temple, this body, as we enter into a time of just celebrating Keslev, the light of Jesus Christ and what he has done, that we are not condemned, but because of him, he came to save the world, not to condemn it. Saints, let us speak that over others, no matter what, okay? So, join me this week as we get ready to celebrate. I will not be on tomorrow, most likely, but I will be on Wednesday. And we'll get ready to enter into Hanukkah, the Feast of Dedication. God bless you. I love you. Have an amazing day.